Ah, you are welcome to this section on finding SCM. We are asked to find the least common multiple of 6 and 8. What is that? How do you do it very fast without error? Write these two down. The first thing I need to do, what can I use to divide this without any remainder? 2. Don't think about the other guy first. Just put 2 here. 2 here is 3. Can 2 also go this? Yes. Then you continue. But for instance, if it was not divisible, no worry, just transfer it. Now let's use 3. I don't want to think about this guy. 3 to this is 1. See, I did not think about this. Now I want to use 3 to divide this. I cannot. What should I do? I drop it like that. Nobody will beat you. Is there another thing I can do? Yes. I am going to use 4 this time. 4, I've still put 1 here. 4 into this is 1. Now I have 1, 1. This is my SCM. That is 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4. Which is 12 multiplied by 2, which is 24. So 24 is the SCM of 6 and 8. That means 24 divided by 6, you agree with me, you're going to have 4. 24 divided by 8, you agree with me, you're going to have 3. No remainder. Okay? Look at this. We are asked to find the SCM of these two. Don't worry yourself. 7 and 14. What can I use to divide this without any remainder? Don't think about this guy. Just only this. Because this is SCM, not ACF. SCM. So, if 7 can go. 1. Can 7 also go here? Yes. And we have 2. Then we have 1 here. Let me try 2. 2 into this. Cannot put the 1. 1. Now I have 1, 1. This is my SCM. 7 times 2. Which is 14. Don't need to waste your time. Okay? Next. Let's do this. That is, SCM of 3 and 11. 3 and 11. What can I use to divide this? 3 can go. Can 3 go this? No. Then, I use 11 this time. Because 11 is the list I can use here. This will be 1, 2. This is my SCM. 3 times 11, which is 33. Hope this is understood. Thank you for viewing.